This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 684. Tuesdays, we've been talking about professionalized wrestling, the season premiere. Does that mean we renumber? That, that means we did. No, episode no, no. one of the Indie no, Mayhem no, or the no, Wrestling no. Mayhem no. Show. Episode Fuck 14. Episode, episode 14 1 of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> <laughs> um, 014 01. Is, is that right? Uh, S S fourteen E one S S fourteen E one. If you're you know, downloading us on you know, iTunes, much like The Simpsons, though we really went downhill after season six. Well, let's be honest about that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is the Wrestling Man Show. I'm Sorgatron here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in uh, Pittsburgh, PA, ready to do a lot of stuff. I just I I called myself my fake name. That's interesting. Uh, but anyways, with us, as you already heard from Beacon, New York, he is the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? Hey, Sorg. Hmm. Did you know that the last time Brock, rest- Brock-, Brock Lesnar wrestled on SmackDown, Facebook was a month old? <laughs> <laughs> was this still the Facebook? Yes. I have... I have- Three more fun facts coming coming about. Oh, I can't. Oh man, we are gearing up for this Friday premiere. Holy shit! Uh, anyways, we also have with us uh, Proby is still with us. Ronnie Starks, the uh, here you see a little bit of the Triforce Championship there. The uh, Triple Crown Champion. It's a tag team. He's not. He does. There's two more belts, and yeah, other people have them. Yeah. And with uh, one Destin Vane and. Uh, Dan Sandwich. You know how long it's taken me to say Destin Vane on a regular basis the correct way? Destin Vane. Destin Vane. Mm-hmm. Yes. Typing it sometimes is another story. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> also, back with us. They are back. They 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 asked to come back. It's, we did not scare them away. They we, begged. From, from Pit Fight out there at the Pit Campus in Greensburg, PA. One week from today, this recording on next Tuesday... Uh, we have Kyle, we have Cornell, we have the Pit Fight crew with us today. You guys are uh, uh, amongst the, I think there's several people behind this show, right? But you're, you're the core group there. How you doing, guys? Phenomenal. Okay. And we've got Rev Head. What would you call him? Uh, the, Rev the Rev Ron- Ron's Head. The Rev Ron's Head has returned to the show. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> it's no, great. It's no longer Rev- Revimus Prime. Uh, as it has been, he's been uh, oh, with our little optimist. Uh, you know, these creatures are so two dimensional nowadays. <laughs> yes, ah, <laughs> uh, TV personalities. Uh, anyways, no, thank you for joining us, and uh, we're going to be talking about pit fight uh, here later in the show, and find out what you guys have uh, lined up for that. Um, it's it's it's. Uh, I, I can't wait to find out because I heard really good things. I saw a little bit of the footage. Uh, I know they had posted some of it on uh, Armstrong's uh, 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 YouTube or something. I think last time. Um, always a good thing when uh, uh, the crew, the group groups get together for a good cause. But this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it's less of a good cause. Uh, but <laughs> you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform. Uh, you can ask your Google Home, your Amazon Echo, or apparently your glasses, apparently, after the, the Amazon announcements last week, uh, to play the Wrestling Mayhem Show on TuneIn or Google Podcasts, or however you want to set that up with your home voice system and it is the future we can do it that way and you can also email us at good times, good times. Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com guys it works we fixed it go daddy broke our email again and thank uh, you candace michelle yes yeah okay uh what, what did we say last night candace michelle wouldn't stop spinning or dancing or twerking yeah. or whatever she does and fix our email and i had to do it my own damn self so that's fixed 
Uh, so you can now email good times at wrestling mayhem show.com. You can also email mad. Mike is completely wrong at wrestling mayhem show.com. And also, uh, Ronnie Stark's, um, uh, performance report at wrestling mayhem show.com or whatever else you want to for Give that is all. Yes. Apparently that email is actually real. That is, that it, I found out today. Yeah. They're, yeah. No, they're that's all. They're that, all. No, it's everything. You can put anything in front of at wrestling mayhem show.com and it should get to our inbox. Don't give me ideas. Also email. Anything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Yes. Just post whatever you want. Please don't send attachments because I think I think our inbox is only a megabyte and I need to fix that <laughs> or a gigabyte <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, so in other words, no dick pics. Yeah, that's how you save against that. <laughs> hey, you wheels. Yeah, yeah, wheels. <laughs> And also the uh, hotline, which also works, that we read the transcript over on the Mayhem Gold before the show. Uh, 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Facebook page, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Join the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. A lot of great discussion happening there throughout the week. And join us every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live. As I, I may call the show Drunk from New Orleans. You may call it Drunk for New Orleans? <laughs> I might. I'm not sure yet. What, next week? No, this weekend. This it's weekend? All, it's all going to depend. Fantastic. Mm, the yeah. number works. Put it in your phone. Fo- I the, still have it in my phone. Put it in and as thing to call when I'm drunk. Um, yep. If you're uh, catching us later on... Put it in as your hottest ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Mm-hmm. Um, Ronnie's going to put it in as Sarah Jessica Parker from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Uh, all right. It's no actually going to be Sarah Jessica no Parker's boobs from Hocus Pocus. Oh, oh. In Hocus Pocus and First Wives Club, it's the best she's ever looked. 100% mm. agree. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Hocus Pocus is on in the background, guys. Yeah, I'm it's currently October watching 1st, Hocus Pocus. Yeah. And there was a demand. Okay, we're running a muck, 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 a muck. Yes. Um, if you're catching us later or on one of the other outlets, we're of course on Twitch and a few other places. Uh, and you're not with us on Facebook Live here on Tuesday night. You can tweet us, join us uh, at Mayhem Show hashtag WMS uh, six eighty four uh, over there to continue the conversation. And also thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreoncom slash Show. Our friends, Bo Diggity, woo! Also at the Fan Show Dollar Level, Ed Burke by FJ Town Team. Nick Keys and Team Hammerfist at the Pocky Club $5 level. You guys have been getting Ronnie Starks watching wrestling with our guests. And actually, there's another one. I think we only put up the blindfold match last week. And then we did another one. We, I think, what did we watch? The big baguette on the pole match. Yes. That'll be going up soon. Mm-hmm. And then you have other <laughs> you have other uh, playlists oh, sorry. Options sorry. you want to watch. Yeah. Can we make suggestions for this? Yes. Yeah. Well, mostly out of... Good. Mostly out of the indie wrestling dot uh, us catalog, please. But uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna do no, I, I w- the second. The first thing I was gonna say was Judy Bagwell on the forklift match. You know, you know, Buff Bagwell is coming to RWA in October. I know that's why. That's why. It came and out. teaming with J Rock. Give it up one time, baby. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure that was his motto on Gigolos. There you go. Um, anyways, uh, we, we need to get the rest of this. Our friends at the Pocket Club $5 level. Before we got distracted, Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. At the Pizza Club $10 level, our friend Ryan Clark at $13. And our manager at the $20 level, our friends at OccupyProWrestling.com. You guys can support the show. Get more goodies at uh, uh, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, hey, Sorg. Do you want to know another fun fact about the last time Brock Lesnar wrestled on SmackDown? I would love what to is know that, Mike? Fact. Netflix was still only a DVD delivery company. Ooh. Good, good point. Good point. I remember. Um, this is a cause for celebration, despite me messing up the Facebook events. Um, this is our first Tuesday night in several years that Wrestling Mayhem Show is unopposed against WWE live we wrestling. Won. We won celebration time. Yeah, we Trebek. won the Tuesday Night Wars. Yeah, t- yeah, let's go back. <laughs> I puffed my competition. <laughs> <laughs> the puppet is back. The puppet is back. There you go. They were afraid of us, so they went and took billions of dollars. In order yes. to go on it's Fox, a celebration. it is a celebration it's a now. Celebration. There I'm you go. Try- <laughs> oh no! Oh, God. oh okay. no! Okay. Oh, oh. 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 oh.
Oh, we're gonna fix that later. Org? 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 Yes? How many of those did you put in your mouth? <laughs> not enough. Well, not the first time he's been asked that. No. <laughs> um, Sorg? You could have warned me pre-show that there were horns coming. I didn't know they were coming. Producer Missy just provided right now. No, it's funny. Missy, Missy, I thought we were cool. (laughs) (laughs) I now. Yeah, uh, sorry. You know what? Just for that, you guys get another Brock Lesnar fact. Okay, another Brock Lesnar fact. I want about five more facts. (laughs) I only have two more, so you. That's unacceptable, sir. I need five. All right. The last time Brock Lesnar wrestled on SmackDown, the iPhone did not exist. It does exist. It was only a glimmer in Steve Jobs' eye. <laughs> yeah. All right, fuck it. I'll do the last one right now. But it's it's a it's a guessing game. Okay. okay? All right, and this is for all of you. How old? <laughs> all right, you know. <laughs> or, they all did that. Sword, you knew, you off saw off. me. You saw my cam. I, I, you know I didn't. Sword, turn off Hocus Pocus. They don't deserve it. How oh! dare you say no? Oh, oh, no. Absolutely not. They don't deserve it. It's almost oh. over anyway. There's like 20 minutes left. Oh, really? Not. That's a short They're movie. still at the party. Yeah. <laughs> no one's put a spell on them I love yet. Mike. If you're in a, on video in the corner, like the TV's up here. So he's completely also watching Hocus Pocus with us. I'm I the, am. I'm the only one that can't watch it because it's behind There's me. There's still at least another good 40 minutes. Of that yeah, movie. like a half hour. <laughs> Anyways, last, really last Brock Lesnar. 10 minutes. Last, last uh, uh, all right, all right. Brock Lesnar. Right, so question for everyone. Mm-hmm. How old... Was Liv Morgan the no. last time Brock Lesnar wrestled on SmackDown? Uh, she was 12. That's, I was going to go 12. 12, yeah. Yeah, Is everyone guessing 12? I'm yeah. going to guess 10. You know what? Not, I need. We need an odd number, so uh, 11. Nine years old. Oh, I should have went the other way. I was, Damn it. I was the closest. I win. <laughs> wow, we're at that point. No, at actually, the... you're all over, so you're all losers. Dun, 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 dun. So what you're saying is Bork Laser is like really old. Bork Laser. <laughs> yep. Orc laser is really old. Wow. In fact, that joke is older than Liv Morgan was. So <laughs> on Smackdown. Oh, shit, it is. <laughs> I remember before Pro Wrestling Tees was a thing, there was a different the Bork laser shirt. Yeah there, yeah, there was a Bork laser shirt on their like old website. Mm-hmm. Was that like Barbershop or something? Barbershop, yeah. Because yeah. I had the hashtag heel shirt and it had uh, uh, Lord Vader on it. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I love that shirt. Jeez. I mean, well, producer Missy like hands out horns, causes havoc, and walks yeah. into the other room. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? They haven't even sang yet. There's it's still a, almost an hour that's left. That's enough of Hocus We're about Pocus. to. I put a spell Sorry. on you. Sorry, if you put Hocus Pocus on, I'm going to comment about you. Okay. Should, All right. You know this about me by now. I went on a full half hour rant about rookie of the year and it wasn't even on the TV. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We're going to watch Halloween. That's Town true. And then, and then the rookie of the year responded before he came yeah. in the studio here. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we have some youngins here. Do, have you guys ever watched rookie of the year? No, no, sir. No, God no. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking children. <laughs> All right. After the show, we'll give you a talking to, but we got to get to the wrestling guys. The landscape has changed. Jerry Law is back on raw. <laughs> Fucking Jerry Lawler. Why is he back on Raw? <laughs> Get him the you, fuck off my show. Uh, hit He's with uh, Dio man. Madden, which is the first time I remember that guy's Dio name. Dio Madden is great. And uh, Vic, Vic Joseph. Vic who, Joseph is great. As Vic, I pointed Vic out Jerry last Lawler night. Fuck away from that. As Vic I pointed ben? out on the on the on the on the wrap up uh, last night, there's now two people that I've worked with that have been commentators on Raw. So. Um, uh, what we say adjacent mayhem bump because he was never on the show, yeah. Mike. Yeah. yeah, the the uh the transitive property, so. the transitive properties of mayhem bumps. That's right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it definitely felt like they were going a little raw with the things last night. Huh? Um, so there are three stories with guys who don't fuck their wives. Wait, <laughs> there are. That's not a joke. That's what is? Not, and that's just on raw. There was um, a a point where I don't know if that was in the chat room or a comment somewhere. You know, is it ob- obvious that like like frat like 
you know, football watching frat boys are writing a raw right now. Yeah, I mean they're probably not fucking their wives either. So yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's a deep seated thing that's going on for a while. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was so. I, I mean, I, and again, I know Mike you know, Drake Maverick might in storyline be an actual virgin. Uh, well, yeah, I could see them doing that. He, he do- could have released the Sanderson sister Sorg. What? By lighting the black, <laughs> by lighting the black fake candle. <laughs> oh, they're singing. Oh, now. this is a this is a hocus pocus reference. It's Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. There's gonna be a bunch of them, Sorg. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not brushed up on it, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, so we got that. Well, and as, as Tina's pointing out, this sounds like it's WWE's answer to JR doing AEW commentary. Why answer that? I though? don't know why people feel like they need to answer something like if, that. If they wanted to answer that, put a fucking masked guy on commentary. I'd rather have that be the answer. Um, Sin Cara returns to commentary. Yes, Christ <laughs> sure, <almighty. laughs> fine. Let's, let's not do that. No, no, no. Ponders point out that Lawler is your old weird relative. Uh, you're scared he'll hit on your on a young no, relative. Not scared. I know he will. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. gotta look out for Uncle Jerry again. You like know. it seemed like last night's Raw commentary team was two guys who had to pick up grandpa for Thanksgiving dinner and would just let him drone without listening to him at all. Mm-hmm. It's like, we got a job like, to do. Oh, over here. God, that's problematic. He shouldn't say it. We're just, we're just, we're just going to plow through. We're going to keep going guys. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you got the good old, uh, uh, usual old raw team on Friday nights. Now from the sounds know, of it, that's a good thing. Well, but it's still, it's not Jerry Lawler. It's got to make you at least appreciate that, Mike. I yeah, but I kind of wanted Corey separated from Renee. <laughs> you, you want them to go through a separation? You go to yeah, and I kind of want Corey away from the show with Mandy Rose on it too. To okay, all right. Well, we don't know what's going to happen with the draft, sir. Oh yeah, the draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that's when we get John Morrison. Yeah, ah! that's the hey, big John, news. Oh, oh, I hope he goes on NXT. Johnny yeah, next. That would be cool. Johnny next. Johnny Full Sail versus Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Full Sail. Johnny Orlando. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, we got NXT doing their first four uh, two hour. Yeah. Jeez, it's, yeah there's gonna, gonna be four hours. Listen, there will be four hours of wrestling on Wednesday night. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, oh, four boy. hours of live wrestling on Wednesday night. There will be every week six, seven, eight. If, There's ten hours. Is it ten hours? Yeah. NXT's two, AEW's two, SmackDown, Raw. That's eight there. Ten hours plus two hundred five live. Yeah, including two hundred five live, yeah. which is now on Fridays. Yep. So and you're not even counting Impact, ROH, New Japan, Shimmer, Main Event. All um, that stuff. none of those are live. And uh, that's my awareness. For- well, two, yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So so I'm talking live wrestling, and that's gonna be crazy. Um, we were talking about schedules last night. Um, we can say we're setting up for Brock Lesnar on this first one uh, for SmackDown. So, I mean, can we? Okay, what what falls out first? One of these companies or us trying to watch it all? Us trying to watch it all. Yeah. The answer to that question is yes. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. With this whole Team Flair, Team Hogan thing they're doing, they're doing Survivor Series twice. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, well, yeah. they just said it's a tag team. Fucking Halloween Panic. So it's just, so it's just yeah. going to be Seth Rollins and Rusev versus Corbin and Orton. No, oh, they're uh, adding three more people to each team. Oh, good. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be full teams. They're just they're just going to be stretching out who's on the team so oh, we can okay. have some stories. Oh, okay. I was talking to someone at work. Who wouldn't be surprised that um, the fifth member of each team are Flair and Hogan? Please, no. You don't say that. You I don't want that. Don't I, that. I, I'm saying that out loud so it doesn't happen. Put it out of the I world. Like it's the exact opposite of what would happen. Shows, when I say things on this show, they don't happen. That's right. That's okay, right. That's it's, it's the anti-secret. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Vince is like, oh no, man, Mike said it. Erase. Exactly. Uh, he knows. He knows. God damn, son of a bitch. You know bitch, too much. Mike. You know too much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how long until CM Punk is on Raw or SmackDown announcing? Nah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's not against it apparently. Oh, oh, really? I, yeah, if Meltzer put something out about it. Oh, well, if Meltzer, well, said, if Meltzer it, said it, it must be uh, freaking true. There you go. Uh, there's, a rumor, there's a rumor that he might be a part of the FS1 show. Okay. Yeah. Which, I mean, if WWE can pay him to just talk and not wrestle, that's uh, probably a win win for both parties. True. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, in the FS show, the FS1 show is going to be on Tuesdays, right? I believe so, Those yes. Motherfuckers. Tuesdays <laughs> at 11. At 11. It'll so be fine. Okay. We'll be done by then. Maybe. Total Divas. I mean, technically, Total Divas is on a 10 on Tuesdays, too. And so we're like anybody watches we're Total Divas. Comp- we're not direct competition for Total Divas. No. No. We're obviously a very different demographic than Total Divas. <laughs> yeah, people like entertainment when they watch us. <laughs> <laughs> so so similar yet different, right? Um, we're going to AEW. Uh, we're okay. We're going to AEW in a few weeks. Uh, but yes, we're we going are. into watching the live AEW. I have I have cleared my calendar. Actually, I had a thing, but I, I don't think I'm going to that thing. Um, oh, <laughs> spoiler alert! He's not going. I don't think I'm going to a thing. Life around for wrestling. I was going to do to go to a startup demo day tomorrow night, but I'm like, ah, <laughs> wrestling. Are we that? Are we at least for this month? I have to put wrestling first, right? Uh, <laughs> is the uh, is the first AEW show going to be three hours or just two hours? I think it's just two or hours. Just two hours. Yeah. No, I don't. I think they're dedicated to the two hour mark for the That's most fun. part because they don't want to be raw. <laughs> Dynamite, you know. Uh, AEW presents Dynamite. Dynamite. Third Wednesday night Dynamite. Oh, yeah. I know Might. It's because it's on TNT. Yes, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Putty. Yeah. You know, I never thought of Nitro until very recently. I think it was one of those WWE untolds when they brought up the fact that Nitro is because they were on TNT. <laughs> yeah. Never, ever thought of that. Like, TNT. It, I'm Dynamite. No, 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 no. No ACDC. ACDC is shit that always takes down wrestling shows when I put them on YouTube. No ACDC. Go to hell, ACDC. <laughs> I'm just on a highway. AEW is called Dynamite. Yes. Um, how are we looking forward to it? I believe uh, the former LAX just got announced as Jericho's partners for tomorrow night. Yeah, six man uh, tag. They're pretty much they're pretty much the only option. It's so. pretty much the only option. Um, we're going to be seeing surprises. John Moxley is going to be around. I think I thought he was marked as in action when they come to Pittsburgh here in a few weeks. Eh, you um, never know. They'll do something. They'll do something with him. So I mean, uh, what do you like? What is what is your bar, uh, Mike? We, you've spoken on this a lot, but uh, uh, new guys. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Uh, AEW? Are you have you been watching like what they've been putting out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I um I watched all out. We had like a watch party for it, and um, in like one of our big buildings at school with a projector and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty much just looking for something that's not going to bore me after an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, I think I think they can set that bar kind of high. I mean, like some of the matches they pulled off were crazy and they weren't afraid to do like old school stuff like when they pulled out the skateboard with like the pins on the bottom or whatever it was you're uh, talking about the moxley match uh, i was um i was a jimmy havoc joey janela okay darby allen i think is his okay name oh the one with the crate yes the, the, the or the barrel from, yeah. from cracker, cracker barrel yes but the cracker barrel clash <laughs> was he was he staring at a barrel <laughs> he jumped off the top rope with the barrel behind him and crashed onto the top of the ring steps. Because that's a great idea. That's and it, and it uh-huh. shattered the barrel. Many biscuits were harmed in the making of that match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that was the match where they actually put thumbtacks in um, in uh, Jimmy Havoc's mouth. Yeah, I, not, not the first time. I think I saw they that taped it shut. That yeah. was. I, I, I think I saw that. Like I've seen that a bit. Mm. Yeah, like, How do you from not accidentally. I have no idea. Thumbtack? I have no idea. Uh, there's a trick to it, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> really? They don't teach that? Ronnie, they never taught you the thumbtack mouth spot at a uh, wrestling school? I, I took a thumbtack spot one time. Yeah? And that was more than enough for me. Just a regular... I, uh, I, I saw that thumbtack mouth spot in like the first season of Tough Enough. <laughs> yeah, that's where they started, right? Well, let me that's tell you how I was kid. trained, kids. It's, it's like flatbacks running the ropes, thumbtack spot. That yeah. was, it was right there. You got to toughen, you got to toughen up your body. You got to toughen up your skin. Gaben was great at it. 
<laughs> you're bathing. And here's how you're not going to swallow these thumbtacks. Step one, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do it. Just don't. Just say no. Just Step say no. Step one, don't. <laughs> Step two, if you do, good luck. Good luck. Because you're going to tear your insides up and your asshole when it comes out later mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. You may actually bleed to death. Just Pause. like Taco Bell. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm proud of that one. This is why I only eat Chipotle. Okay? Mm-hmm. Dude, oh, this is where it's at. Yeah. Cornell, what are you looking forward to with AEW Friday Smackdown this week? What's, what's kind of got your attention? Generally speaking, I feel like the WWE product as a whole, like excluding NXT, has gotten like pretty stale. Mm. So, like with AEW coming to TV, I'm really looking for. I'm looking forward to something that's actually new and like a product that gives creative freedom to the wrestlers as opposed to a staff of writers who've never taken a bump before. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I think that overall general quality of matches will be extremely good. And I'm looking forward to a bunch of wrestling every single week. We've seen a little bit of this formula before, haven't we? I mean, really, I think impact wrestling gave a lot of uh, credibility to a lot of people to kind of re rebuild themselves. Right. Um, look at EC3. I know that has not worked out so well returning to WWE, of course, but still, it got him back to WWE, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and made a made a big deal out of him and made new fans of him in the meantime. Um, look at uh, Johnny Impact, Johnny Wrestling. I guess that was more Lucha Underground now I think about it. Um, uh, look at the Hardy Boys. You know, that what they created over there, again, they brought over to mixed results, but still, that is something that got attention and reinvented them. Um Sometimes that doesn't work even, out, of course. Christian. What's that? Even Christian. Christian. Yeah, I mean, just 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 to get out of, you know, I always say some people just cannot thrive in that environment or are not compatible with that environment on WWE. And to get to something else, whether it be the Indies or an Impact or an AEW, now you're at AEW where you you have it is seemingly you're going to have that creative freedom, but on a much bigger platform than everybody else. That's not WWE. So like that's going to be, I think that's a great formula too. Like there's going to be misses. There are going to be misses like mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. sure. You're mean, you're there. It's going to be a little bit of like NXT. Comment, commentary is a big sticking point for me mm-hmm. for right now. And that's something they have to figure out. Right. So, but it's also, we're not going into a company where it's a lot of the old boys from a company that failed. Mm. I think that's a big difference between this and TNA. Because mm-hmm. I feel like we, I mean, we said it over the years, Mike, right? We're just like, are they just doing what WCW did? Are they making all the mistakes with a smaller budget that we, <laughs> well, we no, saw no, in the yeah, 90s? No, see, uh, the, the main thing I'm worried about, mm-hmm. besides Jim Ross on commentary, that's a completely separate issue. No, it's going to be bad. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. It's going to be just as bad as King is on Raw. Mm-hmm. But the main thing that I'm worried about, and they have not allayed my my concerns with this based on the first major decision that they've had. Wrestlers booking themselves doesn't work. Mm. It doesn't work often. Why not? On, 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 on a larger platform. Okay. From what you've seen, from what you've witnessed. From what I've seen so far, and the fact that Cody gets the first title shot against Jericho. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I realize he's one of their biggest stars. Mm-hmm. I get that. I don't like it. Let, let's let's because 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 if you have your first show and you show up with a sledgehammer and you throw it at a, a throne of skulls in Latin, <laughs> saying you're not going to be Triple H, mm-hmm. and then you book yourself in the first world title match. Guess what? Even if you don't win, you're Triple H. It sends a message, right? Yeah. Like, um, I want to, I want to, I want to talk to your point, um, on wrestlers booking themselves. Because Ronnie, mm-hmm. you you've been to a number of promotions with different booking styles. I have, and at some points, you guys are kind of left to your own devices, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what do you what do you say to that? I mean, obviously, a different scale than AEW. Well, yeah, I mean, but <laughs> you're not on TNT, okay? No. <laughs> but but how does how have you seen that work out over the years? Um, you know, obviously, there, even like in local promotions, there's different structures, right? You know, but like how much how much does that kind of work when you guys are kind of given the reins to 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 work stuff out to do whatever we want? Yeah, 
it, it's it's not that we get to do whatever we want. Mm. It's just that uh, you trying to get me in trouble. Is that, is that what you're <laughs> no, I just thought you didn't speak of this as experience or something right. like that. So, all right. as the professional I, in the room with a real belt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, like I said, it's not that we do whatever we want. We have. We have the the platform to be like, all right, we want this and this and this. Mm-hmm. Go out there and make it work. Yeah, and uh, we make it work. And that's usually the way. That's I mean, I can't imagine AEW is not like, you know, no, they, they they have a game plan. Everything's set. In yeah, motion. yeah. This is happening. No, this happening gets us to the pay per view. Yeah, nobody's trying to get themselves over there in the mm-hmm. office. It's just and they're, it's not like they're not without agents. Yeah, that are going to be working with them. Billy Gunn's there. Dean Malenko's there. Like same people that have been doing WWE. Yeah, it's fun. it'll be fun. You know, but without certain overhead people that may be vetoing certain things, right? Yeah. So, um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we'll talk, of course, probably a little bit more about this throughout the show and check in on Hocus Pocus 2. Uh, Hocus Pocus 2? No, not oh, Hocus Pocus. There's a sequel? Uh, there's going to be. Well, a reboot. Is there a reboot? Yeah. Is there seriously going to be yeah, a reboot? Yeah, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like wrestling and you're you're not you know if you want wrestling that's not live that's not online that's not you know that has Ronnie Starks uh you can go over to indywrestling.us <laughs> and uh and check all that out in the indie wrestling network indie wrestling.network a lot of great stuff going on in the works just this week alone there are three shows recorded this past weekend on the way to indie wrestling.network and uh uh you can go check those out they'll be coming up here in in process right now rwa fall free for all involving um of course uh wcw speaking of wcw uh sign guy Lodi. it was there this past weekend buff bag was going to be like i think we mentioned before next month um uprise that ronnie sarks actually debuted for this uh this week and we won very successful yeah suck it peyton graham take it (laughs) And uh, and of course, uh, Starks. the havoc in the heights. We actually got a chance to record uh, with Sam Adonis and the Sexy Fireman, Jason Tyler. Uh, a lot of fun out there uh, in Irwin, PA, this past weekend. A lot of wrestling happened this weekend, and a ton more happening. We'll talk about how you can find those in the Pittsburgh area here in, uh, later on. But go check it out. A seven day free trial over at IndieWrestling.network, and of course, if you go to IndieWrestling.us, you can also find Angel Gate Fight Society and so much more and the new to the site uh uxwa out of brooklyn ohio uh featuring some uh guys uh from boomer hatfield and uh the colony from chicago a part of that uh, a lot of uh, faces from aiw uh, i was very excited last week to realize that i got to edit a uh, worldwide match you know worldwide from aiw no. I've heard the legend of Worldwide on the podcast, and I finally got to see him. Yeah. So uh, go check it out. Fun hardcore match on that as well. Go check that out over on IndieWrestling.us, UXWA, Fight Society, Angel Gate, uh, and, of course, uh, 2PW, Prospect Pro Wrestling, Rise, with a Y, RWA, so much more. A lot of content over with, there. With a Y. And <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, he's got, the, he's got the shirt on right there. Yeah, there you go. With a Y. Yep. Go and, go and oh, yeah, show yeah. him again. For the video, there you go. With why? There you go. Good merch. Good merch. Those rise guys. Hmm? <laughs> so, anyway, merch with a Y. Uh, a week from today, while the Tuesday night wars may be over, the uh, pit fight is stepping up to fill that void. <laughs> Cornell and Kyle, you're here for pit fight. Uh, oh, no, that's Ronnie. Uh, <laughs> uh but tell us what's going on this is the second one you're on here uh several months that was earlier this year wasn't it yeah it was yeah so so two in one year it feels like so long ago i know it feels like we it's graduated you're you're just mere children back then and now (laughs) now you've survived the wrestling show and somehow decided to do another one (laughs) Well, here's the first question because everybody that I, I I've uh, I, I've uh, uh, you know helped promote and uh, you know here on the show and I go to the show and somebody that th- don't do like a monthly show like some of these guys and it's always like oh my god I'm never doing this again I'm never doing this again see you at the next show <laughs> <laughs> was that your experience coming out of the first one guys uh, I think we knew we did not want to do this like monthly or on like a very regular basis. Not because, even a little bit. Yeah, like the the <laughs> process that it took not only to figure out who we wanted on the show, but also like contact all the people 
and not only contact all the people, but contact a bunch of restaurants for like different gift cards and catering and see if we could, mm -hmm. hey, can we sell your food at our show? It's for charity. We promise. Please. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. Press press very very nicely. They still, they still didn't care. Yeah, they really didn't. They were like, here's some gift cards. Now go fetch. And we were like, okay. But um, I think overall it was like probably the best night of like – if not the best night of my life, one of the best nights of my life. Cornell In cried at least three times. At least. <laughs> and we got we got an award for it, didn't we? We got yeah, two we, awards. Yeah, we got Whoa. um we won well, I won the Dean's Award for Leadership for hosting it, and then I won Service Project of the Year. I cried there. Yeah, you did we both at there. Because that's our baby. That's yeah. our product. Hey. <laughs> and now we're and now we're a club. We are. We are we're technically Pit Fight Club. <laughs> 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 oh shit! What's that first rule? Are, are we, are we allowed can, to talk about it? You can talk yeah, about Pit Fight Club. <laughs> first, first rule of Pit Fight Club: You can talk about Pit Fight Club. Oh, good. Okay. Wait, if the, is it if it's your first night? Do you have to bring a gift card, or is that how that works? <laughs> you have to watch a rest. You have to watch a match with us if it's your first night. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So we actually have have like a budget now. So that's that's a lot nicer than just doing it all through family so, donations and our pockets that's yeah. great so yeah. you so you like so you're a, a club that books a wrestling show yes yes and puts on a wrestling show yes yeah. that is crazy mm -hmm. and then and i imagine eventually it's going to be an elective <laughs> <laughs> that's the next step right yeah we're gonna get a minor eventually you're gonna I you're, hope so you're gonna, come, you're gonna come back teaching how how not to book a wrestling show oh god <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to think of what the 102 class would be like. What's your gimmick? 102, 102 ducking out at intermission when the when the, when the house is light. I <laughs> uh, hope I'm not hitting close to home there, Ronnie. Ooh. Oof. No, you've been on a lot of shows. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure you've been on those ones. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, but real quick, um, you know, obviously, you know, successful with the first one, uh, uh, just a little background, uh, um, um, a mini version of like, how did this come about? What is it for? Uh, how did we get the pit fight one? You want to cover that? Or you want me to cover that? I can cover that. You got it. So, um, me and Cornell roomed together last year and I took him to his first indie show, which I have to tell a story later oh my because God. my dad really wants me to. And it's really funny. And you all okay. Okay. It. We'll do that in the back half. <laughs> um, so we went to his first wrestling show and we're like, hey, like, there's not a whole lot of wrestling in Greensburg mm -hmm. in general. Um, do you think we could bring this here? And we're like, I don't see why not. Because I hosted a whole uh, show in high school called Cougar Mountain Mayhem for my senior year. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad got me in contact. And, like, that show in high school, he did a lot of the booking. And then this year he's like, no, it's your turn. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> 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 so I messaged all the wrestlers and I... Uh, he sat in a study room for nine hours and oh made all the God. matches and mm -hmm. talked to a lot of people. And this year we had to battle with athletics a little bit for the gym, but it was, it was fine. <laughs> it was all fine. Thank you, Jeremy, for the gym for the day. We appreciate it. Um, uh, all the proceeds go to Connor's Cure, which uh, Excellent. a lot of pro wrestling fans know is the one that uh, mm -hmm. Connor McKellick, he's in the Hall of Fame now. Mm -hmm. And we raised uh, $1,500 for it last nice. year about, and our goal is to raise 10000 by the time we graduate. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. And you guys are juniors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got three more shows after this. There so. you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. And of course, very successful with the first one. And you say, it, it, I keep people bring that up like all the time, just in conversations backstage when we're setting up for shows. Like, I, oh, really? It, it, really? People talk about, oh, yeah, that's happened. Uh, oh, yeah, that was that pit fight, you know, kind of thing. Like, I've heard it a couple of times and we got high fives there. If you guys <laughs> are here on audio. <laughs> so, um, no, no, like, uh, it has been like a highly regarded. Uh, show but you know it's again you know there's been you know between you guys and stop out cancers like a lot of these great benefit shows and we've had guys on here on the show talking about like these are the kinds of things that help bring the community together and you know f the wrestling community together both you know in the in front of and behind the curtain um that 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 helps out a lot and obviously doing some real good stuff um so you're you're going into the second one what can we expect from uh, next Tuesday here uh, for everybody that's going to be in attendance? Because you guys are going out there. You guys can watch this later. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll be doing something. We're, we're, we're talking that out here before the show. But uh, <laughs> but uh, definitely, uh, if you're in the area, it's a Tuesday night. What else are you doing other than listening to this show? Not watching wrestling on TV anymore, that's for sure. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what can we expect here at Pit Fight 2? 
Oh, man. Well, there's a lot this year. The one thing we wanted to do is, like, obviously we had a lot of wrestlers for the first show, but we wanted to try and expand out and get some more people on the show. So there'll be a lot of new people coming. Uh, we'll have Atticus Coger. Um, he'll be nice. on. Uh, Bro Hemoth, it'll be his first time on. Spencer Slade, we just recently got. He'll be on. Um, Honey Badger, it'll be her first time on the show Good. as well. Um, we decided to do a lot of crazy kinds of matchup. We're looking for ones that a lot of people like. That That's the big one right there, the Greensburg Gauntlet. Mm-hmm. We just announced the last person for it today, so the competitors in it as of now are Lee Moriarty, Lewis the Nerd, Chris LaRusso, the Rev Ron Hunt, Matt Connard, and Christian Noir. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that'll, that's going to be... It's going to be really good. That's going to be insane. Mm-hmm. Um, the pit fight title will be on the line again. Uh, Gory versus Remy LeVay. Uh, Gory is the champion, right? Gory is the champion. He won it in a fatal four-way at the last show mm-hmm. uh, against Hulk Nasty, Andrew Pallas, and David Lawless. Um, other matches. Katie Arquette's going up against Honey Badger. That's that's a big one. Uh, Ronnie and his boys at OSHA are going up against the main event. Oh, wow. Is that a first time ever? That's the first time ever. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Are you uh, Are you worried about that lady lion? <laughs> Uh, did you guys invite the lion? Uh, we didn't, but that probably won't stop them. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to deal with the lion. I mean, I'm not going to say no to the lion. That I mean, I mean, it's a, mean, it's a lion. I'm going to beat the crap out of that Ronnie, lion. Ronnie. Oh, no. Up. Ronnie. 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 Yeah, I, um, I have a suggestion for you. And I have a solution for you. Um, You should just start practicing. We. <laughs> we. Are <laughs> I'm just. I'm throwing that out there because um, as much as I don't think you're a fit for this show, I don't want to see you mauled by a lion. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm there's just saying. Wow, well, there's different levels here. You know, we I got know. To unpack. I, 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 I got the idea from a little known movie called Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm pretty sure calming the Hulk is the same thing as calming a lion. Well, the sun's getting real low there, lion. Exactly. <laughs> the sun's getting real low. Exactly. Although you have to dress like Black Widow for it to work, I think. At least I don't have to dress drag and do the hula. So uh, we're good. <laughs> yeah, that that did not calm down any lions or hyenas. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I just got them riled up. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I got a six man tag over here. Uh looks like this this looks an, like an interesting lineup. Yeah, it's gonna be so it's gonna be going chic, so it's Calvin Couture and uh Robert Parker Williams and Devin Devine returning to in in ring action versus my my good old daddy o QB Blitz shout out, uh Marshall Gambino and Brandon K. Wow. And then we also we also have uh Andrew Palace versus Beastman, because Beastman cost Andrew Palace his match for the pit fight title. Okay. And we're actually featuring a pre-show this year where it'll be Xander Gabriel and Isaiah Wolf teaming up against the Lebanon Don Joey Moses and Corbin Bourne. There you go. Um, I've seen everybody, but uh, 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 what was it, Corbin, um, in uh, 2PW. Xander actually is going to be on the show here in two weeks. (laughs) I was like, hey, what are you doing? And he says, not next Tuesday. I got pit fight. So... (laughs) That's all of our answers. Yeah, that's everybody's like, oh. answer. We're like, why can't I book everybody? Because Pit Fight got them all. <laughs> so, Sorry about good, it. So, yeah. Oops. So really, we're celebrating winning one Tuesday Night War tonight. Mm-hmm. And next week... We are losing the Tuesday Night War. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, maybe, 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 just maybe you guys are going to be live next week. What are we we're talking about? We might be doing it on location. Oh, so. boy. So I won't be on the <laughs> No, show. Well, hey, we could try. We we'll just put a big. You know what, man? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring the 32 inch television. Put it on the desk next to us. <laughs> and You'll bring be, the DVD of Hocus Pocus. And the, the DVD Hocus Pocus is we like we're it's be like we're here. And nothing will be different. You know, nope, uh, at all. Ronnie will be in the background. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe getting pretty, his ass kicked by a lion. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> it'll be just like home. <laughs> <laughs> Me getting asked by asking by a lion is just like home. Yes. Sure. Sure, that's where we're at right now. God, I don't want to go home. <laughs> but anyways, um, so a uh, great show uh, coming up here. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, what are the details for people that, uh, that want to come out to it? If you want to come out to Pit Fight, it is at the Pit Greensburg campus. Don't show up the main. We won't be there. We'll um, be very lonely. Yeah. Very. Yeah. 
Um, it's doors open at 6.30 p.m. with a bell time of 7. It is $10 for adults, $5 for kids and it students. Mm-hmm. Um, again, that's Tuesday, October 8th, next week. Chambers Hall Gym is the building specifically. Again, don't go to the main campus. We will not be there. <laughs> not the main campus. There should be a giant sign on the main campus. You're at no wrestling here. <laughs> Put it right outside the Peterson Event Center. <laughs> there you go. No wrestling here. Until the 23rd. Until AEW. How about that? Pitt Pit Campus is uh, uh, collectively hosting two wrestling shows this month. I mean. Only one of them has a lion. What? What's that? <laughs> the other has only a one of them has a lion. That's right. Only one of them has a lion. The other one, one has a lion at heart. Main campus and just like knock on the door and be like, hey, I mean, uh, what you didn't know was actually AEW contacted us first. They're like, hey, we want to have it at the Chambers Hall gym. No brother, no brother. That's our territory. Back off, <laughs> Cody. <laughs> <laughs> because they obviously would pick Pitt Greensburg totally. as their first location. Hey, you'd be so, hey, I, I watched Impact Wrestling out at I, IUP with Hulk Hogan in the ring. That's fair. Do you know what that means? That means we're getting Hulk Hogan. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, that that wouldn't go well on our campus. Uh, <laughs> no. Ooh, no, that's probably not a good that idea. That barely goes well on Raw these days. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they got to go to the desert. Um, <laughs> They don't WWE, get, Halloween panic. They don't get that news out there. Um, <laughs> geez. Uh, anyways, no, go check it out. Uh, um, awesome stuff. A pit fight uh, coming up here next Tuesday. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, they get the mayhem blessing for sure. Uh, doing some really cool stuff out there. So uh, anything else? Anything else uh, going on with the show you want to mention, announce? We'll have some surprises. Oh. Because everybody likes surprises. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Well, guys, you know what's not a surprise? Pizza. <sighs> Unless you haven't had our slice on Broadway before. I don't know. Did you guys run through it already? I mean, I, I mean, are we? Wait, are you guys, oh, it. they're going for a pizza run right now. I'm a college student. I'm never going to say no to pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah, it. bring it on over. Yeah, uh, our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza right here in Beachview, Carnegie, PA, East End, PNC Park. We've been with them since their first location here, right up the road in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh. But of course, we want to help that global expansion wherever you may be. And there are people in the chat room from all over the country. But you probably have a Broadway Avenue not too far away from you. Take a sign on that Broadway Avenue. Avenue sign uh, tag pgh underscore slice on the Twitter and uh, <laughs> they're getting into it right now. <laughs> there, there, there you go. It is very. They're good. rubbing their hands. They're getting into that. <laughs> what do you got? Is some sausage left over there? Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it is a great pizza ad right now. Um, but go check them out. Say hello to our friends slice on Broadway dot com. Uh, college student approved. <laughs> so. <laughs> And uh, with that, we will be back after this message. You're going to hear Katie for a moment talking about some other things we do around here. And we'll be back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. I I told you about this. I defer to the mad one on the big question this week. Mad one. He's still with us up in Beacon, New York. Hello, mad one. Hi. Hey, we also still have the boys from Pit Fight with us. We ate pizza. They ate pizza on the break. It was pretty good for <laughs> being cold. They're re-energized and singing uh, tunes from Into the Spider-Verse with Mike. So they mm-hmm. will definitely be back to talk about Pit Fight 3 when that happens. <laughs> so job, Ronnie Cornel. Starks is still with us. Hello. Con- contemplating uh, how weak the knees of a, of a, of a Liddy Lion would be. <laughs> He's going down. That's right. Uh, Mad Mike, there is a big question. Yeah. Can you... Uh, uh, Lay it on us. Okay. Uh, well, the big question. Tomorrow night, live NXT, live AEW, which show are you watching and why? Mm-hmm. That's the question. That yeah. is the big question. Now, Mike and I already kind of poked at this question uh, last night on the Monday Mayhem wrap-up. Uh, so I think that is a good question for our crew here. I, I think I know part of the answer here, but, uh, Cordell, uh, see, I'm just going to loophole it. I'll have AEW on the TV and I'll put NXT on my computer via the network, but ah, AEW is going to have the big TV. Well, but it's, USA. No, it's on USA. 
See, you're screwed. I am screwed. AEW. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they get you. <laughs> See, this is this is why. Well, Sword brought this to my attention last night that TNT has a live TV app. Yep. Yep. So if you so, if you have a cable login. You know, from somebody. I don't know how you guys do it in college. Uh, you can you can definitely stream it on your phone. Uh, it will not Chromecast to anything, by the way. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> but now AEW has the little yeah. screen. Yeah. And Dave, Dave, as we've pointed out in the chat room, you cannot stream NXT on your iPad through the network. Mm-mm-mm. It will not be on there. It will be on the next day. Yep. It's a yes. damn shame. So it's just Hulu. It's, it's nope. the, the WWE network to NXT now is just Hulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. Basically, I wish they would put the other things on this Hulu too. That'd be really nice. Uh, Kyle, uh, I think I'm definitely going to be watching AEW just because it's new. I want to see what they're all about. I mean, mm-hmm. Riddle versus Cole is cool, but you know, I want to see what the new stuff is. And we know that like Riddle is not winning. No. The, undis- <laughs> the undisputed having the undisputed era having all the gold is like one of the best things that have happened personally to me because I love the undisputed era. But. Mm-hmm. That that's that's I mean, but you also have Shayna Baszler versus Candice LeRae. Yeah. And Candice LeRae might actually win the women's title tomorrow. Yeah, I believe she's winning it. Mm-hmm. Really, mm-hmm. I absolutely do because if AEW is crowning a women's champion, I have a feeling NXT is going to do the same fucking thing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, Ronnie? AEW. W. Mm-hmm. That's that's it for me because mm-hmm. uh, I I got tired of WWE stuff and I was even NXT. Well, no, I still love NXT. Yeah, but because uh, we just watched NXT uh, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm definitely going to DVR NXT and watch it after AEW. It's my game plan. Sounds good. Don't Sounds go on good. any social media because there will probably be spoilers everywhere. Oh yeah. Well, look at here, you assholes on social media. Don't fuck this up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I, I, I'm going AEW again. I got the network. I can wait. You know, mm-hmm. I usually don't watch NXT. We're doing it in three weeks, right? General. So well, that's in three weeks. They'll be here. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'll be there for that. Uh, Are we doing a live show afterwards? Are we meeting up? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes we'll do a Facebook Live in the parking lot. Yeah, we're doing it. So, <laughs> uh, Mike? Um, I am going to do the picture in picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to have AEW on my iPad. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have NXT on my TV because AEW has not earned my trust yet. NXT mm. has earned my trust for years. Right. This is like a first date. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 yeah, exactly. Like I, I'm not, I'm not giving it, I'm not giving it away on the first date. Mad Mike doesn't. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I don't do that. You don't, you don't pop that cherry on the first date, man. No, no, absolutely not. You let it build. Yeah, no sex before <laughs> pinfall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My God, somebody put it on a t-shirt immediately. Right I, now. I think that's how Adam and Britt got together, but okay. Can, can that be um, on the next uh, pit fight shirts? No sex till pinfall? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be our Instagram caption. Yeah, absolutely. I, is the next one joining with the abstinence club? <laughs> <laughs> you think Pitt Greensburg has an abstinence I don't club? It's about if, to. If, if if you're gonna have no sex till pinfall, you could you can also put the black flame candle on there. Oh man! Hey, she has till five. <laughs> you're wow. about. Oh boy! Oh well, boy! Right. I just ruined the show. There it is. We right. just earned the explicit tag. <laughs> we didn't get. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. Better late than never. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that really drove That's it what home. she said. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Your advisors oh. aren't watching this, are they? Oh, <laughs> boy. Highly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on book. Show's canceled. There we go. Uh, we're done Gotta here. go. <sighs> Can't do it without Ronnie. Yep, yep, Can't yep, do it without yep, Ronnie. Yep. Yes, they can. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hey, there's a lot of wrestling. Did you know that, guys? <laughs> Yeah. What's wrestling? So much wrestling. And uh, Pit Fight is one of the many, 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 many shows in the re- in the Pittsburgh area uh, this month. I I counted them up. There are thirteen wrestling shows. Jesus. Within an hour of Pittsburgh. Oh boy. In the month of October. Oh boy. Wow. That includes AEW. Oh, that boy. includes Wrestle Rex. That includes uh, several KSWA shows. Uh, uh, Rise Wrestling and so much more. Go over to. 
pittsburghwrestling.com and you can find out how many of those shows you can make your pro wrestling pl- plans for october and uh including dates we already have dates up uh from our friends at rise wrestling and kswa for 2020 so find out if there's wrestling on your birthday in 2020 i guess um and everything there go check that out pittsburghwrestling.com check out the listing like i said make your wrestling plans core chord music festival six it's happening this weekend with a great wrestling card. Rise Wrestling is going to be presenting that, actually, mm-hmm. um, including M Dog 20 is going to be there, Matt Cross, and, and The Offspring is headlining. So, wrestling is going to open for The Offspring. How cool is that? Of course, Pit Fight, like we've been talking about, is uh, slated there for next week. Fight Society next Friday with uh, Ronnie Starks as well. Well, you're doing two shows next week, sir. I'm doing three shows next week. You're doing week, three sorry. shows next week. I, I got Black Diamond. Ah, I got yeah. Pit fight. I'll see you at Black Diamond on Sunday. That's in West a... Virginia. We don't include that in the calendar. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else can do a West Virginia website. Sorry. And then I got, you know, then I got to defend these like, guys. Yeah, defend those yeah. triple count crown championships. The Triforce Championships. Triforce Championships. <laughs> um, looking forward to that. Let's mm-hmm. see what happens with that. Uh, we'll be there doing production, of course, with uh, Fight Society. Uh, but you can check all that stuff out. There's, there's, there's a ton of events this month. There's... It's great. I'm happy. There's so much wrestling. I'm not filming all of it, and I can go attend some stuff. <laughs> so that's a plus for me. Uh, but go check out all that, PittsburghWrestling.com. So we understand there's a story that needs to be told. Uh, Kyle. I'm going to re- relax. All right. Well, Ronnie's going to go chill. He's sitting back, relaxing. There you go. Story time, everybody. Story time. I understand there's a story that needs to be told on the show. There yes. is. Uh, my, my dad told me that if I didn't tell this on the show. Who is your dad again, for those out there? My dad's QB Blitz. He used QB to wrestle Blitz. at PWX. There you go. Um, and uh, and other places as well. But um, So this is what we like to refer, refer to as the infamous Colt Cabana story. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I hope WWE doesn't sue us. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so the first show that I ever took Cornell to was IWC Winner Takes All last year. Mm-hmm. And... You know, Cole Cabana was there. It was when he uh, teamed up with RJ City for that match. I forget who it was against. I think it was Team Storm. I'm I think it was. I think it was Team Storm. Storm. That's the one with Arquette, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Um, so, intermission hits, and um, Cole Cabana has a table. We're like, hey, we want to, you know, go meet Cole Cabana, and get in line. And I'm like, hey, we we should probably figure out how much like this costs, like in case he like he pays for pictures or anything. So we asked the guys in front of us, and we're like, hey, you know, how much did you guys get for your autographs? And he's like, oh, it's free. So we're at the front of the line now. Mm-hmm. So I start to, you know, reach my hand out to shake his hand <laughs> before I could even say hi. <laughs> have you have you guys ever watched Impractical Jokers? Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you remember the episode where Sal went into the wax museum and was talking to all the statues like, oh my god, it's Beyonce. <laughs> but Cornell, do you want to tell them what you said as you walked up the Colt Cabana's table? Kyle opens his mouth and the words that come out of mine are, oh my god, it's Colt Cabana. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. And he just looks at him and he goes, who would have thought? <laughs> So if if that if that doesn't make it like bad to begin with, so Cornell like jumps behind his table and like starts posing for pictures. He got like this dumbass look on his face. He's like, I still have the pictures from it, and I'm like, so like I'm halfway in between the table at this point. I'm like, what are you doing, Cornell? And then our buddy Sam's like, hey man, it's okay. We're just taking some pictures, zooming in with his camera. And Cole Cabana is talking to RJ. Said he's like. I don't know who this guy is. Like, you know, he, he came behind my table. Like, I didn't ask him to. Cornell finally starts to realize the gravity of the situation. And he just shakes our hand. He's like, it was really nice meeting both of you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure it was. So that is that is the infamous Colt Cabana story. Some of us just can't control ourselves around <laughs> wrestlers. It's, oh my God, it's Colt Cabana. <laughs> it sounds like you wanted to record a new intro for his podcast. With that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom, boom. Like, it's the art of wrestling with Colt Cabana. <laughs> Were you auditioning? I... <laughs> sure. Let's, let's just go what? with, sure, I was. How was that your reaction? It was the first thing I thought of. I was like, I got to make this elastic story. <laughs> he, wa- he was he was very nervous. I was. When I get nervous, I either do nothing or I do anything. <laughs> and I chose to do anything. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I'm, try- I'm trying to think of 
who like were you doing a Louis Armstrong voice on purpose or I did that on purpose. That okay. was I was like, let's right. let's see what happens if I do this, and then I did it. Oh, you saw what happened. The little bubble popped up. This actually will have consequences. <laughs> <laughs> the pure awkwardness. <laughs> Cabana will remember that. I don't I, Cabana hated this. <laughs> Oh, I'm, Cabana disliked I'm sure that. he did. He probably did. I wonder if I he like actually talked about it on the show. And be like, well, I met this weird kid. <laughs> I was wearing a pink bandana that day, and I was I was like, let's see if he talked about it on uh, his show. He didn't. That's a shame. <laughs> Cornell, you watched two minutes and thirty seconds of it. Yeah, <laughs> he probably <laughs> came points. up at one point, man. You never know. You never know. You never know the lasting impressions <laughs> people will have. The wrestling business is Cole a weird. Cabana, one. if you want to oh, come on pit fight. Please. <laughs> Remember this guy? You definitely want to be on his wrestling show. Totally. Trust me. It's for it's for charity. It's for charity. It's for charity. We're fighting pediatric cancer. Although, That's although right. when you invite him on, you can be like, "Come be in our wrestling show. Come to pit fight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. All right. The beauty about that story is when you told mm. your dad that the first thing he thought was he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and it, then it was like he's stupid. You're su- you're lucky you didn't get punched. All right, that was a little funny. <laughs> God. It could have played out completely differently. Too. Oh yeah. So he could have like got a kick out of it or he probably like, get the fuck out of here. He what? chose the latter. <laughs> the worst thing was like Cordell was intimidated for three months because Wardlow's table was right next to him. Oh, like, yeah. And he was like, like if, dude, what if Wardlow saw if, he's like if Cole power told bomb. Wardlow, he, he probably would have eaten me like right then and there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that seems right. Uh, Ronnie, have you had weird fan interactions? Uh, Has anybody uh, Louis Armstrong to you? No, but I've met some weird people. <laughs> Would you like someone to Louis Armstrong? You? Uh, we know a guy. <laughs> uh, come see me on Tuesday. <laughs> can, wait, can that be their entrance music? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's Ocean Incorporated. Hey, <laughs> Have someone do an ambulance voice, an ambulance sound with the Louis Armstrong. No, you should do the ambulance sound. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, no shit. I guarantee no dead. one will copyright that. <laughs> no one can't let Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, I quit the business. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. That's that's where you draw the line. Why, why did Ronnie quit? Well, I got a story for you guys. <laughs> there, was, there was this kid from Pitt Greensboro. It all started with Colt Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it, Colt. <laughs> oh boy. Um I don't even know where to go from there. No. Well, the show's over, folks. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we can go home. Like, Time to get back to the dorms. Yeah, I, I can't even pivot to a Hocus Pocus joke anymore because <laughs> we're not watching that anymore. No, no. What the hell is on the TV? Oh, is it the crow? You, what did I accidentally put on the TV here? <laughs> There's, I think this is the crow. This? Is it the crow? Yeah, it is. How did or, I get oh, the crow? How did I accidentally play oh the crow? Oh, my God. It's Sting. I'm not it's even Sting. Mad. Because... Sting! <laughs> It should be on purpose, but it's sting. Uh, sting, sting. Oh no! It's a. Is it an ad? No, is it playing actually, trailers? I think this is it. I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe it's on. Maybe it's on YouTube still. Anyways, sting. This shit's going sting. crazy. Sting, sting, <laughs> sting. <laughs> This, 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 did the 90s sting ruin the crow for us? It did. <laughs> or was it the yeah. sequels? Oh, oh, no. Angel or uh, what was that? City of Angels was a good movie. Eh. And then the other movies were like, well, they happened. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a TV series. And, oh, I forgot oh. about the TV series. That was the drizzling shits. Man. Well, hey, look at this guy. He's it, taking shots. It made uh, I I got to figure out where this is playing from so I can watch it again later. Um, sting. 
Oh, jeez. It is Halloween month. Hey, you know, there's a pay-per-view this weekend. We should probably talk about that. Hell in the Cell. Well, you know what? Oh, that's this I, don't, weekend? I don't know if we have to talk about it, considering WWE has not talked about it. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Isn't well, there like only two matches booked for it? Three <laughs> matches. Three matches. That's all we officially. need. Officially. Let's see. An hour, like, an hour per match. That's an it. hour per match. Oh, Hell in the geez. Cell. Yeah, Let's do fuck this. It. We're good here. I'm sure it'll be just fine. It'll be <laughs> It'll be fine. Great. Great. Hey, it won't be though, because I'll be at Black Diamond, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> you'll be you'll, you'll be witnessing something grave. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's see what you did yeah. there. Wait, wait, wow, wait. Storg. Way to bury the joke. Aren't you <laughs> aren't you punny? <laughs> a tag team buried alive match. Let me get that shovel so you can find your way out from that joke, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> No. This should have been the promotion for that show the whole month. <laughs> um, just so, us making really so bad puns. One. Yes. Can can someone in the Buried Alive match, the tag team Buried Alive match, dress like Billy from Hocus Pocus? <laughs> Listen, if anybody from that Buried Alive match is listening, because I think you might be, um, that's out there now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just I'm just throwing the shit. I would like. Can I get Remy Levey dressed as Billy from uh, Hocus Pocus? It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus guys. That's all. Hear that or. <laughs> Or someone just take a thing of salt, go around the grave site, then no one can get there. I'm doing it. Oh, dude, fuck it. I'm doing it. All I'm right. just going to go out there before our match, and then I'm just going to throw salt around the grave, and I'm going to walk away and see if anybody knows the reference. <laughs> is that a safety precaution? It is. Yeah. Yes, it you know, is. You got to ward away <laughs> demons, man. I mean, if yeah, anything, like, sorry, the witches can't get past the ring of salt. Yeah. If anything deserves a violation, it's a it's a buried alive match. Yeah, take that, Bet Mittler. <laughs> Kate, take that, Kathy and the Jimmy. Yeah. Was, who, which one's Bet Miller? Is it going to be the red haired one? Well, no. No, I mean, oh, of, about I mean, of the teams. Oh, is it is it Bouncer or? Uh... That's not Ruin Hocus Pocus. Well, okay, that's well, you just have, you just have to establish who the best singer is. Anyways, Black that's Diamond. That, that, that's how you figure out who Bette Midler is. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a singing competition before the show starts, and they won't They're know why. Only allowed to sing. I put a spell on you. They're only allowed to sing that. This, uh, this what the hell? All right, uh, Tina's saying that there may be a Ricochet versus Cesaro versus the pre -show, for the pre show match. Tina, yeah, pro hit. probably. I mean, there will probably be. Um, the the young cucks, Rusev and <laughs> young uh, cucks. Rusev and Mike. Can Kinellis. you say that? Wow, is he allowed wow. to say? I don't know. We do have a. I. I it's not on my list. <laughs> of... Corey Graves has said it on Raw. Okay. All right. I wasn't sure if we were allowed to say. And also, that's not my joke. I saw that joke on Twitter. It's just great. All right. That was. It's just a great. Well, it's, okay. It's I great love that content. one. What do we have at Hell in a Cell? Of course, we have Seth and we have Bray. Yep. Expects theatrics. Expect. Who knows what? Okay, all right. We know I, I, have, now. I have a legitimate question about this, though. Hmm. Does the fiend have to win the title? Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, all in favor of yes. Three, two, one. Yes. 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 I'm the only one that thinks no. Yeah. I'm. I'm saying the fiend can't be pinned. Mm-hmm. I don't want this, but there can be shenanigans where there's a no contest. I think there will be shenanigans mm. for sure. I do but like it, shenanigans. But are we all in agreement that if the fiend is pinned, regardless of how the fuck that happens, they fuck everything the, up. The entire thing is done. Yeah. 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 Done. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Sorg. <laughs> Sorg, you don't seem seem like you're in agreement. We're putting you on the spot, Sorg. Mm hmm. Sorg, what's been the one problem with Don't Bray Wyatt? Don't shenanigans kill the pin? No, no, not necessarily. Mm, Depends. Remember, remember when Kane now. when Kane debuted in the first Hell in the Cell, Taker still lost that match. What if everybody that the that the Fiend has taken out shows up and finisher Palooza? Well, uh, that's going to be a very big problem because I don't want Jerry Lawler any more involved in the gas. Oh, debate. I can't wait for the big fist off the second rope. <laughs> That'll take off a monster. Are they bringing the big fist back? The big, the, the, the big SmackDown that, fist that falls the, that, on the fiend. Yes. and and it's like the it's like the end of Ninja Turtles two and Super Shredder. 
No, really, no reference. Oh, Nobody. Yeah, yeah, Nobody got yeah, that. No. Nobody's with me no, on that. No, I got the I, I got it. I got okay. it. Super I got Shredder. It. No, I got it. Okay. No it. Yeah, but, but then Kevin Nash shows up, and we don't want that. Yeah. Well, I mean, can we get Kevin Nash though? <laughs> I just don't want Braun Strowman for the fourteenth million time. Well, you're gonna get it eventually. I it's know. Probably. Yeah, you just gotta suck it up there, bud. They just keep recycling the same old shit. I know. I'll write a sad poem about it later. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll turn it in and you'll give it an A. It's going to be called Here Comes the Lane. No, it's, yeah. called, it's called Brown Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see somebody. Brown Snowman. I see somebody's firing up their live journal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a Berry Snowman? <laughs> <laughs> write that one down. Do you want to end his career? It hasn't gone anywhere. He doesn't win ever in his life. <laughs> Do you he, want a very strong man? It doesn't matter if you get these hands. <laughs> He'll still get pinned. He will never win. <laughs> he won't be champion. <laughs> <laughs> we thought that he, he was over. Lion, but now he's not. <laughs> He's not even in the fun house. <laughs> Do you want a very Strowman? Okay, bye. <laughs> he, he won the greatest Royal Rumble. Can we give him props for that? He won a green. No, I mean, belt. does that show really fucking matter, though? No, but it's a belt. We all forget about it. I mean, trophy it's, that was broken. It's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like winning a championship at a festival. Uh, you're not wrong there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you're 100% right. There's a reason why it's not here. <laughs> There's a reason why he never carries it around. Yeah. Like it's green. It's not easy being green. Oh, now, what was that, Mike? You're getting you drowned out here. <laughs> it's like winning your fantasy football league. Like, yes, you have technically won something, but did you really do anything for it? <laughs> the answer, my friends, is no. We have some commentary from the chat room. Tina says, fuck Mad Mike and Ronnie as the WMS version of Anna and Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Jordan>. bye. <laughs> Jordan, that means you're our Olaf. <laughs> Wait, oh my God. is that Olaf the snowman? Yeah. yeah. Listen, I've never watched Frozen. All right, no, this is happening for what? Halloween now. And he's going to be like, Lord. I've been impaled. <laughs> Lord, when you get Disney Plus, you need to watch Frozen. Exactly. Yeah, that's going to be the first thing after the Mandalorian and everything else awesome that's on there. For, first of all, it. in all reality, Frozen is the worst thing that ever happened to Disney. <laughs> I agree. That's not true. No, it's true. It's one of the worst things. Can we agree on that? Mm. That no, that's not true at all. Hey, they just made Frozen, so when you Google Disney Frozen, there wouldn't be conspiracies popping up about Walt Disney's frozen head. Oh, oh no, that that's a real thing. Where's that? He's got that frozen head somewhere at Disneyland. <laughs> it's true. It's down there in the. Uh, it's true. It's damn true. It is. Every Ronnie, single... can you can you draw me a map? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you there. We'll go on a hunt. <laughs> yes. We're gonna go that's hunt that... for Walt Disney's ghost. That's actually going to be the point of the Star Wars hotel down there. You need to find. <laughs> Because it's not frozen like you would think in a block of ice. It's actually frozen in carbonite. Mm. Is it? I bet you it's just his whole body just like staring yeah. at my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Guys. Fell off one. We got pit fight next week. Pit fight. But this week, on this insane week of wrestling, and this insane month of wrestling, what did you learn lately from pro wrestling? Starting with who? Uh, whoever wants to start. Nose goes. You got one? What? Nose goes. I'll, nope. just, I'll just go. Okay, Kyle, go. Okay. I learned that they introduced a new match style to the WWE, and mm. the first match was uh, Bobby Lashley versus Lana in a spit-swapping makeout match. Ooh. Mm. That's low. Mm. Yeah, that's low. Yeah, it was. It had low. to be. I've uh, I've learned uh, not to awkwardly say hello to Colt Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> it's Colt Cabana. <laughs> that's that story's gonna stick in my mind, <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about it again on Tuesday, and I'll be like, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hear him Sunday, be like, so hear what this, hear, hear what this fucking kid did. To Colt <laughs> Cabana. I'm just gonna tell everybody in the locker room, like, I don't know if you guys watch the fucking show, but God damn it, man. 
It's so enough to cool cabana. Oh my god, it's cold cabana. <laughs> when I want to hear the cool, the greatest cold cabana story. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you guys have? Well, let me tell you a little story, kids. Man, my I, like how, I like how it's more from Louis Armstrong to like Chunk from Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coca Cabana! Hey, you guys! Hey. Oh no, man, uh, Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, I learned so much. <laughs> um, I I learned that. You're you're just not allowed to bang your wife in WWE. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Wow. You're, you're you're just not allowed. Uh it's but, a cock blocking federation. And if, and, if, and if you do, you have to be so bad at it that she doesn't <laughs> want to claim that it's your child. Hey, Ooh. um hey Vince, is everything okay at home? Because <laughs> I'm worried about you. Because <laughs> we know over the years. There's been these like masculine manifestations of storylines that are from inside your head on Monday Night Raw for the past so, 30 years plus. So we have no idea what you're talking about. Hashtag genetic jackhammer. Also, mm. hey, Vince, if you and the WWE want to sponsor UPG's Abstinence Club, <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'll start it right now. <laughs> there you go. It's all laid out on the he table. Just light the black- they can send uh, Drake Maverick over. There you go. <laughs> He'll be the yeah. president. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad four people on campus will know who he is. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not just the president. Still hasn't consummated the marriage. I'm not just the president. I'm also a client. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Cornell, did you go? What have I learned from wrestling? Uh, the Wrestling Mayhem show is only allowed to have one night where they aren't contested by any other wrestling show. Yes. Yes. And then then the next four years. Just, here we go. You get one. It's, it's like a leap year. <laughs> kind of is. <laughs> it's a lethal leap year. <laughs> Somebody make that a pay per view right now. Wait, oh, once God. every four years. Lethal leap year? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You've heard of lethal. Leap. That was a thing. Wait, that was a thing. You guys saw Southpaw, right? Southpaw, Southpaw wrestling? 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 I saw the movie Southpaw, but that's guaranteed no, 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 it's no, no. not oh, the same. Oh, oh. Okay, we're watching. All right, you have, you, you have homework. You, you have homework. Right. You have the entire rabbit hole of Southpaw. Yeah, there, go, go watch you're, Southpaw you're trouble, regional right? wrestling. It's, it's, on it's, w- it's on the network. It's on the network. It's on the network. It's on the network. Okay. Um, go I hope you don't have homework, pal. I don't. There's two seasons of Southpaw regional wrestling. It'll take you an hour to watch the whole thing. You need to fucking watch. Yeah. Damn it! Now there's gonna be a test. Thing. You need that just to get half the jokes on this show. Okay, got yeah. it. Uh-huh. So the next time we come on the show, we'll be ready. Yes. Good, oh, good. Sorg. Sorg, Big Bartholomew, sad now. Oh, it was a sad panda. Oh. <laughs> Poor Big Bartholomew. <laughs> Again, this will be something you get when you watch South Park. Yeah, and we then watch this back and give us more yeah, hits. We got um, you. Jeez. Let's see. Uh, from the chat, uh, become uh, oh, Ponder boy. says, "Become a citizen and boom, you're a c- okay." Yep. No. 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 <laughs> you might as well say it. No, no, you know what? You've already committed. Or <laughs> just entering the chat room. I do not abide by that. I just don't Dave feel comfortable Podner. saying that word. Do you want me to say it? Dave Podner says, "Become a citizen and boom, you're a cuck." Welcome to America. Oh wait, is that finally what Machka means? Mm. Oh, so cuck means uh, Machka. Maybe Machka is right cuck for cuckold. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy tina made the joke last night but lana loves that bbc hey mm-hmm. little bbc on that. more Dr. people Drew's on that are uh, by more people on this episode knows what that meant the night than last night so sorg is sorg is very innocent guys again it's abstinence fun. club <laughs> vince think about it <laughs> please let's talk about this come on <laughs> Uh, While we're here, anybody want to join the Abstinence Club? Hey. Like do a studio recording. Tina, do you want to join the Abstinence Club? <laughs> we meet at Sundays during church. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she is a child. She can't do that. You can um, repent, Tina. Yeah, just do the Shawn Michaels thing and be born again. There you go. It works. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. <laughs> hey, it worked wow. for Undertaker nobody, so many times. Nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> Just commit. Just commit. 
<laughs> oh, I'm going to hell if it exists. We all are. Um, oh, I learned that a wrestling a, a, a wrestling um, a match can involve a boat. I'm on a boat, I'm motherfucker. A boat. Take a good hard look at oh, me. Oh, that should have been his entrance theme. Yeah. Several wrestling matches have involved boats. WrestleMania next year is fucking pirate ship themed. They, oh, that no. is true. They were getting ahead of it. So uh, are they really gonna have a pirate ship at WrestleMania? I you, swear to God. Yeah. No, that's okay. They better. They won't have Kyrie Sane on the show. I wish we knew somebody <laughs> that worked for the Fed who could tell us the answer. Kyrie Sane is not in the title match. I'm going to fucking ride. If she isn't on a pirate ship coming down the ramp, I'm gonna. I, exactly. I will never watch wrestling ever again. I will well, be very get ready to be not, disappointed. Johnny Depp she better dress as Captain company. Jack Sparrow and a quarter and a quarter of the ring too. If she is not accompanied by Paul Burchill and Jean-Pierre Lafitte. Shit, oh, yes. Shit. <laughs> shit, yes. No, they're just going to make the world's worst pirate ship, and she's going to come to the ring with Johnny Depp on one side and Hulk Hogan on the other. <laughs> oh, this God. is the tale of Kyrie <laughs> Singh. <laughs> she isn't carrying a jar of dirt. I'm going to be disappointed. Right. A jar of dirt? Just have somebody's <laughs> heart in a, uh, a box. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Can we just make a bunch of references to all the Johnny Depp movies? <laughs> all of them. Every single one of them? Right. <laughs> Does Rango count? Do you fear death? <laughs> Boy, those are some crimes of Grindelwald, let me tell you. Uh... Well, guys, it has been fun, and we're going to go watch the rest of The Crow. Thank you, Cornell Stay. and Kyle. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> Happy Tuesday Night War win! I just wait! I just wait! I just wait! I just wait! Pit Fight, go to Pit Fight next Tuesday. Support Connor's Cure and fight pediatric cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They're too busy doing that. Ronnie Starks, he'll be there. He'll also be at Black Diamond Wrestling this Sunday. And uh, Fight Society on Friday. Friday, October 11th. Is that the date? Yes. It's the date. 11th. It's the date. It's, the, it's a date. It's a date. A date with Destiny. A date with Ronnie Starks. Uh, and Mad Mike, he'll be, well, with me Monday night on Monday Mayhem. Uh, no, I actually... <laughs> I won't be that was a sad horn. <laughs> yeah, it was. Sorg, I, I will not be available Monday no. night. No! I will be coming back from New Orleans. No, no. No, try to remember Ron, your no, trip, Ronnie, all right? You're gonna, Ronnie, you're going to have to step up and fucking work twice in a week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, don't you, well, we just have to bring him over Skype and pretend he's in Beacon, New York. Live from Beacon, New York. Actually, I'm in pit fights. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Producer Missy was around just ignoring us. Um, <laughs> well, she did provide the horns. And what's that? Oh, that was you that did that? <laughs> and she put on the crow. There you go. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mayhemers. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Stay. Everybody was probably like, what the fuck is going are on? They doing New Day? <laughs> are you guys doing New Day Rock? We are. Yes. I didn't know if they were doing New Day Rocks or if they were doing our theme along with Ronnie. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <I'm surprised laughs> you weren't doing... I just wait. 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 Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.